So most players have a set way of playing, as in like their build orders and such. So that's the whole reason why I even like doing these analysis, just to get a general understanding of how someone is playing. For this game, I am using Yo, aka Gary, who is another person that I enjoy playing with. In terms of skill and his ability, I put him up there with Assassin, and that is very, very good. All right, so he has 13 town centers, including his starting one. He took market at the start, at the beginning of the game, bought stone, and then he queued town centers um, around his base evenly. Well, not evenly, but positioned within locations of near eco points like stone and gold and the wood line. I'm assuming he's going to farm throughout them, like how normally everyone does. Houses in the front and town centers in the front of the wood line. markets on his corner and then spare markets in between him and Ula so that way he can spam out trade carts which is typically what we always tend to do so I'm assuming monastery for the relic I'm assuming he's gonna put castles siege workshops and stables as is common whenever you are Saracens let's speed it up a little bit that was fast and more markets on the front line for some weird reason gary is the only person who does this that i know of that will spam uh markets in the front of the wood line to quickly pump out trade carts as quick as possible and then he will delete them whenever he is done with them the only reason i don't like doing this is because it is costly you are spending a lot of wood And he has markets on the back. So in total, Gary has uh, created 40 markets. <laughs> Okie dokie. This man is not playing. Yeah, town centers. 22 town centers and 40 markets. Okie dokie. That is a first. That is uh, almost uh, overkill. Pretty much. Go forward a little bit. Yeah, I'll keep his zoomed out. Alright, slowing down some. What are we at? 34 trade cars, 184 lumberjacks, 40 miners, 195 lumberjacks. By farmers. You Saracens, you will need food. And he has popped out. I want to know who Ral of 26 is. I've seen that name before. He is Georgians. There's so many new names I've been seeing play this game. I have no idea who the hell any of them are. Yeah, that's the only downside to the way Gary plays is when he does this, he is uh, spent on everything. He's got a lot of stone. He has 8,600 stone, but 4,000 gold, 7,000 food, and 31,000 wood. When you consider that to what everyone else has on average in most of the games that I play, we are far higher in all those, with the exception of stone because it was spent. Skylight, on the other hand, 6,000 wood? What are you doing, brother? Uh, I don't even want to know. Jesus. Kumans. 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 Why would you pick Kumans? Unless you're intentionally just throwing the game. 
All right, so the markets are now deleted with the exception of his corner markets. And now he is spamming farms all over. And here come his castles. Six castles so far. 4,000 stone left. I feel like this is one-sided <laughs> with purple, teal, and yellow on the same team. This is not good for the other side. One minute left in the treaty. Gonna go ahead and speed it up. I hate how this game looks whenever you want to speed it up. I really do. All right, treaty's over, and he Gary is fast on the rush. Trebs, Mamluks, Camels, Siege Onagers, as expected. Oh, and he's against Skylight. Yeah, I got a feeling this is going to be over quick. Saracens versus Teutons is a good, very good matchup. But whenever it's between players like Gary going up against Skylight, this is no shade on Skylight whatsoever, but Gary is in a whole other league. Gary is like, he plays like me and Mujahid. We don't go for the boom. We try to attack as fast as possible. Who cares about all that economy if the game ends sooner rather than later? You know what I mean? Now, if the push fails, then obviously you are left in a shitty situation, but that's why this is a team game. You attack fast, you can end the game fast, and you can play another game. Because there's no sense in spending all, what, one to two, sometimes even three hours, and on, and on rare occasions, longer, to play one single game. I just, I don't get that point. I don't get that at all. That's why I enjoy watching Gary play, because he plays the same way in every single game. I don't even do that. Some games I'll chill, some games I'll push. Trying to sneak in with the group of main looks right here. Siege Onager is holding the line, so to speak. He's trying to sneak in. You can tell he's looking. He's searching, he's searching. There are levels to this skylight. Levels to this. You're American. I believe you know what that means. But yeah, you get what's happening. He's pushing through. This game is already over. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do appreciate it whenever you guys check me out. When you like, subscribe, comment, or don't. It doesn't matter to me. I post these videos to help others. Catch you guys later. Peace.